questions for Rogers, please raise your hand first. Go ahead, Corey. Brad, you, you talk a lot about how it's all 20 men have to be have to be doing everything, but how important was just your leadership group today from Aho to it seemed like Martinook really took took a, a big step and, and kind of drove everything in the third period and then, you know, everyone else too, but but those two guys in particular. Yeah, that's a great point, Corey. That, 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 you know, we were not playing well, let's be honest, for a couple of periods. And then, um, but your point, Martinuk was having, a, he was having a good game all the way through and just, and obviously Slavs and then Seabass coming through at the end. I mean, it's uh, your best players have to be your best players. And obviously tonight we, we struggled at, at, for a while, but then they, they took over and that's what has to happen. Luke. Roddy, you in, in 2009, I remember you saying as a player, it's amazing the stuff we can pull off sometimes. Has this team surprised you at all with the res, sort of the defiance and resilience they've shown in these last two games, scoring late and then coming through? Is this, do you expect this at this point? It doesn't surprise me anymore because it's been like that all year, you know, all year. We're playing games aren't great. We look like we're probably, you know, out of it. And then they just get it together. And, um, it, it, you got a special group here. I mean, I know every coach would say that about their team, but it's we're proving it over and over and over, and that's that's special. JB, Roddy, congrats on the win. Um, through through two periods, you guys only had fourteen shots on goal, but you guys almost matched that midway through the third. What was the key to get those guys in gear in that third period, and how did you make? What did you do to make sure they kept that momentum going into overtime? Well. First of all, you're right. I mean, that, like I said, the two periods were not hurricane hockey, you know, and you know, the other team had a lot to do with it. You give them credit for sure, but it just wasn't up to snuff. And I, I you know, the guys did it. I don't have to do anything. They, they know they take a lot of pride in how they play. And I think it was great to get that power play goal just to kind of get us within, you know, uh, you know, within one, that was really important. And, they knew we had to have just win one one period here in the game. And that's what happened. You know, we probably even got a couple in the third, but got one, got us in overtime, and then we had momentum. And obviously, you know, we got the face off win and it ended up in the net. So it's all good. Sarah? Rocky well, Dan always kind of seems to get it done when it counts. Does he remind you of yourself at all? <laughs> uh I don't know. I don't know. He, he's, he's, he's old school. So if you mean that, you know, he, he would, he could play back in the day. I'll just leave it at that for sure. Dan. Rod, I know you're enjoying this one as you should, but the defending champs are waiting for you guys. So give me some thoughts on what you think of that series, the lightning, how you guys match up, just early thoughts. Thanks, Dan. See, you, <laughs> you didn't even let me enjoy it for a couple that, of minutes. It's only oh, one round, Rod. Come on now. <laughs> uh, well, you know, you knew if we got through this series, whether it was Florida or Tampa, for me, it was going to be the next best team, I, I think, in the league. I mean, they're either one. Pick them. You know, Stanley Cup champs. Or I thought Florida played great all year. So we're getting the Stanley Cup champs. Um, and it's, and we. We know we're up against. I mean, we're going to have to be, you know, as good as we can to, to have a chance against these guys, especially now when they got their kind of full group back. And it's a great challenge for us. And we'll, Chip? We'll, we'll give it all we got. Probably we've asked you a lot about Ned just now that the series is over. Just your thoughts on how he played as a rookie first playoff series. Yeah. Well, he didn't look like a rookie, that's for sure. Um you know, tonight was probably the one game that he, he'd probably say he was probably not his best. Like he was kind of fighting it a little bit with a puck. And, but that was a big part of the series, I think, for us. His puck handling is able to get us out of trouble, you know, alleviate a lot of the stress. And, you know, he was solid. And that's what you got to have at this time of year out of him and, and whoever goes in the net. Mike Solarte. Thanks, Rod. As the game was going on in that third period, could could you just kind of sense that this thing was going to go your way? I, I mean, you've been around the game long enough and played long enough and been in those situations. It just felt like a, a tying goal was coming, and when it got to overtime, it was just going to go your way. 
Well, you, you, you never, you never really think, feel that way. I mean, you could tell we were at least going to have a chance. Like that was what was good for me. The first two periods didn't feel like we were, we were hanging on and I was like, not good. And then this, the, you know, we flipped it obviously. And then it was like, okay, we're, we're going to get an opportunity. Something's going to happen because the flow and obviously that we had tilted the ice. You don't know if you're going to get it, but you certainly like what we saw. And obviously we, we, you know, we pulled it off. Bridget. Rod, for your team to come from behind today and also a few times this series and never have that like quit attitude, what does that say? Like what, in what ways have you seen them mature and grow, not just this season, but since that 2019 playoff run? Well, they're just, they're, they take a lot of pride in, in how they play and how they represent each other and our, our organization. Like you can just see it. So, um, you know, I think, I think they also, they're hungry. You know, they're hungry and they want to win and they know that it takes a lot to win. I think you, the older you get, the more times you go through it, you realize how hard it is to win. And, you know, they want to take advantage of every chance they get. And this is one of them. Justin. Thanks guys. Uh, Rod, you had, uh, have had a slow start uh, and given up the first goal in five of the six games in this series. Uh, I can't imagine that's going to be something you want to repeat against Tampa. Is there something specific that you guys saw like, in those early starts and even in the start of some of the periods that uh, maybe you can, can go back to the drawing board and maybe fix and, and yeah. stop, uh, stop that yeah, trend? I mean, obviously, that's not something that we want to keep up. But I think, again, just to, to flip it, 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 you know, we've shown it doesn't it, – we'll, 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 we'll fight back, you know. And I think that's the thing. I mean, we're not trying to give up the first goal, um, obviously. And – you know, the, but the fact that when we do, it's, it's not, you know, over. And I think that's just a real confidence boost for this team and, and you know, moving forward. Alyssa? You knew Nashville was going to leave it all on the ice tonight, being an elimination game for them. Do you think your guys matched their intensity as the game went on, mostly in the third period? Do you think they started to match their intensity? Well, we weren't there, in, like I said, for the first half of the game or for, you know, almost two periods. But – you know, then it got to the point where it was our turn to like now or never, like it was on the line. And I think, you know, then we, we did match it. And then, you know, it's, it's tough for them. I get it because they're up a goal. It's, it's that hanging on kind of thing. And we got nothing to lose. And we kind of throw everything at them and that's what happened. We were able to tie it up, but I give full marks to Nashville. You know, it's a great, it's a great team. There's no weaknesses on that group and in that group. And like I say, all the games are tight. Luke. Rod, the, uh, you sent your old lines out for warm-ups. You switched things up pretty quickly. Was that a little subterfuge, or did you make a decision on the fly and kind of was that to get Ajo with your two sort of in-form wingers? Well, you know, we had a plan going in. It was just kind of going to see what their matchups were going to be on us. And then when I saw what they were thinking of doing, I that's when we <laughs> made the change. didn't work, obviously, for, you know, two periods. And then we changed it up again, and I think that worked. But, uh, you know, probably overthought it a little bit, maybe. Um, but that's, you know, that's coaching. Last one, Corey. Rod, you, you obviously missed Jacob in, in a few games there, and he played great tonight. But what, what kind of impact does he have on Dougie's confidence? It seemed like Dougie was a much more confident player the last two games than he'd been the rest of the season. Well, just in general, the whole group. You know, I mean, we, he goes in the lineup. We, I don't think we didn't lose, right? Like, it's like <laughs> he's that important um, to this team. And, you know, you said to Dougie that we all know he makes everybody around him better. And you know, he plays with Dougie most of the time. That's only going to make Dougie better. So uh, it's a great pair. He was obviously the difference maker. And, uh, you know, that that's pretty obvious. All right. Thanks, Rod. Thanks, everyone. All right. Thank you.